we don't want to overreact. We don't want the populace to overreact. Uh, we don't want to cause panic. That's not the idea at all. We, I repeat, must take this thing extremely seriously. But we mustn't overreact and we mustn't panic. The case of San Pedro and the fact that the person who has tested positive is from the town, is from the island of Ambergris Key, and is already in self-isolation from the day after she arrived in country, means that we don't believe that there ought to be any cause for unnecessary alarm among the residents of San Pedro. But alarm is just what happened. There was a rush to get off the island, but the water taxi runs were canceled. This line was still forming as the last boat departed San Pedro for the mainland. And soon after, a press release from the port authority prohibiting with immediate effect voyages to or departures from San Pedro. And in Belize City, the decision to shut the water taxi down wasn't far behind. Tell me about some of the challenges you've been facing since this morning. We know that the first case of COVID was confirmed on San Pedro. Have people been leaving the islands in the island in Drew? No, we have stopped every run from here to San Pedro and San Pedro to here. What time did you stop the run? We stopped at um, 10.30. 10.30 was the last run today. We're only, we're only waiting for our staff to get to, the, to their um, homes. And then after that, we're going to be um, waiting until further notice. We're to get, working together with um, people of Belize, so this coronavirus now get to every corner in, in Belize. We are not, um, we're not running our sign Already we close. Cashier just waiting um, for the next ones to come in that actually live here in Belize. Then from that we're gonna be closing. As an employee of somewhere like Water Taxi, are you relieved about this decision? Yeah, very really relieved. But relief is the opposite of what these boat passengers were feeling this afternoon, as they found themselves caught up in Belize City Harbor's bottleneck of water taxis. Policemen were outside the water taxi terminal looking like a COVID task force, masked and armed with riot gear. And what about the islanders that were in the city? Well, this afternoon, they found themselves stranded. We don't have to go. Because we got three for key cock out there stranded. Where are we going? You know, no mommy, boom, boom, boom. I have kidney failure. I can treat them every week. The dialysis del Carib can take, can take um, dialysis. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. This morning I come now, I get my dialysis for Monday, and I bring no clothes, and I bring no medication, nothing. How am I stay out there just like that? And I know got family here. Really, I just want to go back home. I just come from a surgery, I just come from a hospital. I just can't take out my tube. So, I just want to go back home. I have nowhere to stay in this. I need to get home, you understand? And this is my point. If the government or whosoever they help me know, this case already in Belize, why they never shut down from this morning? So we never have to come in here this morning and stay right here. I tried to contact Coast Guard to see if they could, uh, you know, um, give me a paper or, you know, uh, authorization I could get back to home, to my family, because, you know, I can't abandon them there. My three kids are at home. Like we don't do the at test. Nobody, nobody, nobody tell me what to do. Just chase me. Just left me on the street. What to do? My kids 14, 7 and, and 4. Now like who I take care of them? Let like them take care. Why did you come to the mainland? Because come buy my stuff. Have to put up my money before come buy. Can't come with 300, 200. I can't buy nothing. And you buy an island expensive. Cherise Halsell, 7 News.